Hey guys, Kika Moni here with a recipe today for traditional French bread and stuffed French bread. So to start off, we're gonna add two cups of all-purpose flour, and to that, we're gonna add one tablespoon of regular white sugar, and then one teaspoon of salt. We're also going to add two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast or one packet, they measure the same. And then you also need to add one cup of really hot water, like around 105 degrees roughly, or however hot it comes out of your tap. I usually let mine run for a second to get hot enough. You also need to add two tablespoons of vegetable oil, and then you wanna turn your mixer on low and let everything sort of incorporate. Uh, once it's pretty well mixed, you want to add in one more cup of flour, about a half a cup at a time, and make sure you turn the speed down so it doesn't like go all over the place. Um, once that is incorporated well enough, you then want to turn the speed back up to like medium to medium high and let it all become really well mixed. So it's not quite as mixed as I want it to be. You want it to really look like dough. So if yours looks a little bit too floury like that, you can add a little bit more water like I did here. Just add a teeny bit until it starts to come together and you'll know when it looks like that correct dough consistency like that because it all really sticks together and looks like dough, almost like Play-Doh consistency, if you will. Um, so then once it's all come together, you'll just want to shape it into a ball and let it get coated with the oil. Wanna give it a good turn, flip it over to get everything all coated in oil. And then I cover it with a piece of oil. And then I set my oven to between off and warm and let it rise in there where there's no draft. So you want to let it rise for two hours and then on to the next step. Okay, so the dough has risen for two and a half hours. Now we're going to punch it down, take it out, we're going to divide it in two. Use a butter knife, cut it roughly into chunks. And now I used to always roll them out um, completely and I gave this recipe to a friend and she's like, are you crazy? I don't roll them out every time. I just shape it like a loaf and let it rise like that. So it cuts out a big chunk of the work. If you do it like that. Okay, so there is baguette number one. We're just going to shape it like that. Boom. And then we'll put in a couple slices and do an egg wash in just a sec. We're going to move that over onto the baking sheet. And now this one, I am going to, I don't know if I'm actually going to roll it out or just do it by hand here. We want it roughly the size of this cookie sheet. It's okay if there's a little hole here or there or whatever. If it rips somewhere, just kind of pinch it and push it back together. I do my pizza dough too. Okay, so then in this, I'm going to, I have some cut up ham and cheese. I'm going to uh, put this in kind of evenly throughout here. Except I'm going to leave room near the outside edge because it's going to move a little bit as I roll it up anyway and I want to make sure <clears throat> that it seals. 
so we're gonna leave that alone. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then roll it up fairly tightly. This is how the more traditional way to make the baguette is, but the other one is the lazy way. So you have options. So you can do it this way too, just without the meat and cheese. And it's great. Okay, there you go. So along the back side, you wanna kind of uh, pinch it together along the seam so that it doesn't undo. And then the ends, kind of tuck them under and pinch it like that. Same thing over here. Oh, I can see some meat and cheese. That's okay. You have to cut it anyway a little bit to vent it. So there it is. It's beautiful, right? I'm going to do the same thing on the other loaf too. We're going to cut. I got my sharper knife to do this. Slashes that are like a quarter of an inch deep roughly along the top. And again, I'm going to do the same thing to the other one, our sad little loaf that we just kind of threw together. It will still be delicious. So here it is again, that same sad little loaf. And we're going to do slash marks. It's still going to taste delicious, just not quite as beautiful as its friend. It's a lot easier if you don't want to roll it out. Both of them side by side there. So then you want to brush the loaves with really cold water. So you actually make ice water and just brush it over the top. And this helps to make a really great crust. So over both of them, brush it on. And then you need to let it rise again for one more hour. Okay, so it's been another hour of them rising and they're ready to go in the oven now. But first, we're going to put an egg wash on here and it is a tablespoon of ice cold water um, from the ice water that I used to brush on them before the second rise and one egg white. So you brush it over the top and it makes it nice and golden brown and um, crusty when it cooks and then the inside is nice and soft and fluffy and just delicious. And then of course this one is the one with the meat and cheese inside that we're gonna have for dinner with like a really nice salad on the side and it's gonna be amazing. Almost like an upscale version of like a Hot Pocket, if you will. <laughs> anyway, there we go into the oven for about 20 minutes. Okay, so the French bread is out of the oven, and here's how it looks. This one is the one with the meat and cheese. It's actually kind of oozing out of the side there, bubbling along. And this one is the regular baguette. Okay, they look pretty good. You can hear it's crusty. And it's also super soft and delicious on the inside. So I'm going to let these cool off for a bit, and then we'll cut into it, especially this one. This is dinner tonight and then uh, let you know how it tastes. Yum, 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 French bread. So here it is all cut up. It has been cooling off for about 10 or 15 minutes. And there's what it looks like with the meat and cheese throughout the bread. Crusty on the outside, soft, 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 right? Yum, yum. Okay, so here it is. It's all cooked up. And like I said before, it is soft on the inside. You get a good view of that. Oh my gosh, look at that soft, right? The outside is nice and crusty. And this one is the one with the meat and cheese inside and the regular bread is just soft, obviously, and crusty. Mm. It's so good. 
I did ham and cheese in this, but you could obviously use whatever, or excuse me, ham and cheddar. But you could obviously use whatever you like, but it's so good. I used a sharp cheddar and you can really just taste the ham. It's like the perfect blend. And it's all warm and delicious being baked inside the bread like that. Man, I highly suggest you give this a try. Baking bread's not that hard and it's so great to have fresh bread and it's so delicious. So please give it a try. If you enjoy my video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. Have a great day. Thank you.